For a hard day at work, I fancy a nice beer. I've picked out one from the box kindly sent to me by Western Brewery, and I've picked out the Scotney Bitter. Just gonna get that to focus in there. And it does, there we go. I'm gonna crack this open and then uh, give a little bit of the, the read through. Oh. Smelling good. Bottle conditions on this one. No, we can get that straight in in a minute. I think I've uh, been a bit over enthusiastic there. Colour's about right today, actually. It's a little tiny, tiny bit lighter, I would say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. Hmm. There's a kind of nice bitterness you expect from a, well, a bitter, but there's also a kind of a nice, there's a nice amount of sweetness there just before it, it dries out. Yeah, not, not too sweet, but just a little little tickle on the end of the tongue. That's really kind of real deep malty flavour going on as well. Yeah, it's only 4.3% but definitely feels like it's got some substance and body to it. It's kind of real... I don't know, like a, like a comforting brew. One of them kind of beers that kind of... Well, like today, after a hard day at work, it's just, just the ticket. Right, let me read a little bit on this bottle for you. So it says... Scotney Bitter is brewed, I might have reviewed this beer before, I don't know, but I mentioned the what it, what the beer is about anyway in my other review for one of these beers, but Scotney Bitter is brewed with the finest Kent hops grown by Ian Strang at the National Trust's only hop garden at Scotney Castle in Lamberhurst, Kent. It is one of the dwindling number of hop gardens in Kent. The hops are combined with English malted barley and green sand aquifer water and fermented with Western Brewery's own heritage yeast culture to produce a rich, malty and hoppy best bitter. And then about Scotney Castle, it says Scotney Castle is a romantic, moated 14th century castle set in a beautiful landscape. It was created in the 1830s by Edward Hussey, who had the imagination to transform the medieval castle from derelict dwelling to quaint ruin. It has been managed by the National Trust since 1970. And I have to say, I'm a National Trust member myself. I've been to, you know, quite a few, and trying to work my way through most of the places, if possible, when going on holiday and to and fro. And that is a really nice place. You can get to Scotney Castle, fantastic place. The kids absolutely love it. It's kind of fairy tale type thing. It's just, it's really, really good. Again, this beer as well, I must point out, it is gluten free and it is still very, very tasty. Mm. It is remarkable, it is beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, but it's another fantastic beer from uh, Western Brewery. It is just the just the ticket after a hard day's work. Beautiful. And at 4.3, I think I'd have another if I had another here. Cheers, and thanks again to Western Brewery for sending it to me. That's been Scotney Bitter. Be sure to go to Scotney Castle and get yourself a bottle of this as well. Cheers.